Hi there, everyone. Welcome to 127 Reacts, where we react to trailers every Monday and Wednesday. My name is Jeff, and I'm joined by my fellow Bros. birds. Bro. Yeah, I'm. My name is Jeff, and I'm joined by my fellow Craven the Hunters. Oh, Dominic. Okay. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <coughs> Anakin. Yo, I'm back. back and here. Alex. <laughs> okay. He's gonna grieve. And uh, today we are reacting to the trailer for The Crow, the remake of the film from a while ago. Nineties. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ninety four. I think so. 1994. Okay. And uh, so we're just going to watch the trailer. We're going to uh, talk about what we feel about it afterwards. We're going to give our individual scores followed by our studio scores. So please stay tuned to the end because you're not going to want to miss what we have to say about this. Like and subscribe, all that shit down below. And uh, we're going to get right into it. No, it looks ghetto to me. This looks like shit. I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. Feel like my Whoa! You feel like my person. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. Hey, Shia LaBeouf. I shouldn't have seen any of it. It's her Pennywise. Damn. God. It was shredded. But you're running out of time to save her. Oh. Woo. I'm gonna kill them. God damn. Every single one of them. I killed you. Yeah. You did. We have a problem. He came for us. First impulse. Anger. It's not anger. It's love. What you become. You know that love promises only pain. You have no idea what hell awaits you. No, I do. How many people have you loved? <clears throat> oh boy hmm. can i go first i guess go please. go for it wait does anybody hold on does anybody have any pos anything positive to say like really positive i don't have anything really positive okay. not like super positive i really i'm gonna yeah. say <laughs> real still I'm going to say this is the probably going to be like a... I'm going to make it a zero. Uh, this looked gr this looked grungy as hell. Oh, wait. It looked dirty. I don't know. It just... I, I don't care. It just looked like it. everybody in it was non-relatable to me. And just was like nobody in the cast had showered for a year and a half. I don't know. It just didn't look appealing to me. 
Yeah, it, it honestly, it gave me like not hot topic vibes, but like Spencer's vibes, where it's just like the dirty people go in there, juggalo. I didn't like this. I don't care. Made me not want to watch the original at all. I don't care. Uh, somebody else go now. I'm done. I've finished. I can, I can go. <laughs> okay. Well, everything you just said, I think, just comes down to personal preference. Because when I was watching this, I was like, wow, they really got the grunginess from the OG. <laughs> like, So the fact that you felt so anti it because of the grunge means like they actually did their job the whole crow fan base and all that shit is like very that very grungy punk type aesthetic so i mean like i I was just like okay you know that props to them for harnessing that because that's exactly what this looked like so yeah so i guess that just comes down to personal preference um some people turned off by it some people are not um it's not for me i mean i do enjoy it here and there this is a deep cut but uh the video game Devil May Cry when they did a reboot of it and everyone hated it because they made it grungy and made him look like a little twink. He looks exactly like this. And now everyone loves it because of that. So Bill Skarsgård's cool. He's a cool actor. He's like shredded in this. He's ripped. But yeah, it's just while they did capture that essence of like that dirty fucking underground UK rave where you can just smell the stank just from the screen. I don't know. It did feel like an early 2000s movie. Even like the music felt so like underworld. Yeah, it just, yeah, it just felt like an early 2000s like fucking hot topic movie. Um like The Covenant, I mean, I'm sure we can name a bunch of them. We can name a bunch of those like fucking It's it's just going to spawn costumes. It's going to do exactly what the first Suicide Squad did. It's going to spawn a Halloween costume that's going to carry on and you're going to see like <laughs> The worst couples that you know are just going to like fucking wear this shit. Like, you already know who it is. It's going to be like that skinny twink white guy with his like fucking huge woman that's like four times his size. And they're just going to be wearing it. How did it be cringe? How did I know exactly who you were going to describe before you even started describing? Yeah, it's going it's to be cringe. It's those type of girls that wear Uggs to their weddings. <laughs> <laughs> Deep cut. <laughs> you got, uh, I got that reference. This is ex- yeah. This is this is what that is. I mean, talking about the movie itself. I mean, it's a cool thing. It's a cool cool aspect. It's like an edgy thing to do. Yeah, it was just a very early two thousands feel for me. No disrespect to Brandon Lee, R.I.P. This makes me want to go watch the OG because I want to see like what that one is about. But I just know the fandom that comes with it. So this didn't surprise me. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it like a five point five. Like I'm neutral on it. They did their job. They 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 got the tone. Clearly, they got the tone. If it was, if like Jeff was so, like Jeff physically like was harmed watching this. So they did get that hot topic Spencer's vibe from it. So props to them. But this shit is like, I don't know. It's not for me. I feel like hot topic and Spencer's have like a different vibe though. Like hot topic is tolerable for me, but Spencer's is like I won't even. This is like OG there. hot topic where it was like weird. Like, growing up, like, I was scared to look at that store. And then it was just the weirdest fucking people coming out of it. This is not current day Hot Topic. All right, who's next? I'll go next. I think I saw the first, the original movie when I was a kid. So I, I don't remember much from it. I just know it was, like, a, a cult classic, kind of. But not even to the point where that... I would think it it elicits a, a sequel, but... I guess here we are, Hollywood yet again out of ideas. So uh, they're reaching back into the bin. This movie looks fine. I don't think it's for me. That whole like grunge aesthetic. It's not my thing, but I'm not going to knock it for that. You know, it's, it's obviously very catered to a specific group of people. So I am going to give it a five. Just very neutral right in the middle. No, no, no feelings towards it. It's uh, Dom's turn now. It is, yes, yes. I, when I see this. I want to say I saw this late in high school. Um, I saw it once. Just wanted to watch it, just to say that I watched it, and then to see like the moment where Brandon Lee got shot and died from it. Well, it's like it's because they filmed like out of order, and so it's like he gets you know shot in the, like the very beginning. And 
like that's that's the scene that caused him to die but it was it was okay but clearly not memorable um his, like his aesthetic looked nice and i thought that was always cool um and so i was one of those people when they showed like the tweet of bill with the the suicide squad joker tattoos i kind of like rolled my eyes it's like is this like the new way to be like edgy and grungy is just to have like disproportionate tattoos all over your body or whatever and so i was kind of skeptical about watching the new trailer but <clears throat> it doesn't look as bad i think as people assumed it would be based on that image of him i do like some of the visuals uh like her drowning or like there's that blood like covered face at one point and then like i i didn't expect it to be like as violent when he's like getting stabbed and like shooting himself or when he like blew that guy's head off i guess i wasn't expecting it but it's certainly not gonna be for me i assume people will like it and you know all just favorite line i'm happy for those who wanted this or whatever <clears throat> but it doesn't look like terrible it's it's kind of that thing where when they do like newer remakes or whatever and people think the old ones ruined it's like you can think we have like separate ones so people who don't like this can still enjoy the 1994 crow and then people who like this one will go and watch this one i will probably not watch it right away maybe if it's on something it's not terrible and i didn't hate it i'll give it a six no i will say that this is a. I think this is the first or not the first but i haven't seen uh bill skarsgård in much live action besides it so i mostly just know him as pennywise like i know he was in the newest uh john wick movie but i, I haven't seen that one yet he's cool in that one he's been in a quite a few trailers that we've reacted to recently i was in a in a bunch of um, upcoming movies yeah he was uh Boy, Boy Kills World, that one we reacted to. He's he's the main character in that, and then there was something else that he was in. Uh, he in a, oh, he was in Barbarian. Oh, that's right, he was. was he he was in that one. I think yeah, he was uh, like he was... one of the the main characters. I thought that was a different Skarsgård. You know, no, that, that's that was him. him. He was in it for a little bit. Well, what's what's our number? Who's who's doing numbers numbers right now? Um, our total <clears throat> average is uh four point two five. Well, you heard it here, everybody, if you're still watching. Uh, the Crow remake 2024 gets a 4.25 here from us at uh, 127 Studio. So comment down below. What do you think of our takes? What do you think of uh, this remake? Uh, tell us a little bit about... <coughs> Damn. Tell us a little bit about something... Uh, that you want to tell us about, like and subscribe, hit the, the bell notification so you get notified when we talk about more movies, remakes of your favorites, and uh, share this video with your friends. And uh, we'll see you sometime. Bye. <laughs>